as we move deeper into the season after the Feast of the Epiphany, we will hold on to that visceral image of the light shining in a dark world. It's an image that really uh, symbolizes all of Epiphany, God coming into the world and bringing love and light among us. And you'll hear that theme strongly in the lessons. The first lesson is a passage from Isaiah, and Isaiah's chapter 40 is a passage that is very much established as the epiphany reading, arise, shine, for your light has come. In this week's reading from Isaiah chapter 40, it comes in a little bit later passage from that same chapter. Have you not seen? Have you not heard? Has it not been revealed to you from the beginning? The Lord God is the one who made the heavens and the earth. He spreads the heavens out like a tent for us to dwell in. And later, God will give us strength so that we may run and not grow weary, and that we will take up the wings of eagles um, to give us that strength, and that we rely on God for that strength. This is followed by the passage in the gospel where Jesus, continuing his earthly ministry, is healing the sick. And again, we can see that image of God strengthening his people and by extension, we can see how God's love and presence strengthens us on our daily journey. In the music, we will have those same themes of light and strength and experiencing God's presence around us all around uh, throughout the entire service. Uh, one of the uh, most beloved hymns that we sing here at St. John speaks very much of that. It's the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. And that will be a commentary on the Isaiah 40 reading. After the sermon, we will continue with what we've been doing this season, having the choir comment on the sermon a little bit with a kind of an extra anthem in the service. And we will be using Benjamin Britten's setting of the Jubilate Deo, Psalm 100. Oh, be joyful, all ye lands. Britain wrote this uh, setting of Psalm 100 close to the end of his life for morning prayer at the um, Chapel Royal at Windsor. Uh, and even though he was uh, getting close to the end of his life, this still has a, a youthful, boyish kind of playfulness to it that really invigorates these words. It starts off with this dancing motive in the organ. And then the voices come in with this very strong and confident line, oh, be joyful. goes on like that, full of energy and a little bit of playfulness. At the communion, the choir will be singing words by Horatius Bonar, here, O my Lord, I see thee face to face, again drawing us into that intimacy with God, especially as we approach the Eucharist. This setting is by the Canadian composer Eleanor Daly, and she has given a very graceful melody to these beautiful words. And then in between those, the choir will sing uh, a setting by Alfred Fadak of one of the oldest texts that we have, a hymn of God or a, a hymn to Jesus, in thee be all our glory. Jesus, the very thought of thee with sweetness fills my breast. And he uses the traditional chant melody uh, as well as interweaving his own very poetic music around it. So we have a lot of opportunities to celebrate light and God's presence here at St. John's. We invite you to worship with us either on cable channel or on YouTube or certainly coming downtown and being with us here in St. John's Cathedral.